part one of a two-part series on how to insert an electronic signature um, into a, a document like a, a LibreOffice Word file or most likely a PDF. So I'm going to show you both in the second part on how to insert it, but the first part is actually how to get an electronic signature that you can then insert. And the key part here is figuring out actually how to convert a signature from probably a JPEG or some other image format into a ping or PNG file, which actually has a transparent background. So let's assume that your name is John Hancock, just because, you know, that makes sense. Um, I downloaded this. It's fine. Uh, but we're going to actually take that signature, that very famous signature. Right now it's a JPEG file, which means the background, which is all white, is going to show up on any document that we try and insert this into. So the first step is we're actually going to get rid of that background. <clears throat> Since I'm on Linux and we're doing this on Linux, I'm going to be using GIMP, the new image manipulation program. So I'm going to go ahead and open that with GIMP. And I'm going to show you how to go ahead and get rid of that background. So the first thing that I'm going to want to do is actually get rid of this kind of little box here. That's just going to cause some problems. So I'm going to try and get the signature down to kind of the smallest size possible. I'm going to do that just by cropping. So I'm going to crop to the selection. So I've selected. I'm going to crop that. We're good. Now for the second part, uh, go ahead and click outside of there. So this is just my selection tool. Um, <clears throat> now nothing is selected. I'm going to zoom in, and you want to zoom in pretty far for this because you're going to try and get everything you can selected. So I'm zooming way in. This is 800%. And then I'm going to use not the fuzzy select tool, but the select by color tool. Um, the advantage of this is everywhere where you have solid black, if you select that, it'll select it all the way across the image file. So I'm going to go ahead and click my first one, and it's going to get a bunch, but you can see it didn't get everything. It's missing some, some kind of edges there. But if you now hold down Shift, you can continue to select spots, um, colors in this case, right? So I'm going to hit a few more colors here and just try and broaden that out so I get the full depth and breadth of this um, signature you'll see that it's really kind of widened out. I don't want to get these dots out here floating in space. Those are not going to really help with this. But I want to get as many of these kind of darker little spots just to make sure that I've got a, the full extent of that signature. Um, you can, of course, move around in here. So just checking to make sure it looks like I got the bulk of that signature already. One little spot that maybe I could grab, but I think I've got the bulk of it. Now, if I zoom out to, we'll go to just 200%. You'll see I haven't gotten all the little kind of dots out there, which is good. We don't really want that. But you can see right now what I've actually done is selected the color that I want to keep, and normally that's the part that you would delete. Well, there's a nifty little tool in here or feature where you can actually go up to select and invert your selection. So what we're going to do, we have everything that we want to keep selected we're going to invert that. So we're going to just hit invert and you'll see that it just flipped everything else around. The next step is we're actually going to clear it, but before we do that we want to do one really important thing to make sure that we have a transparent component to this. Go over here to your layers and you're going to right click on the image file and add an alpha channel. That alpha channel is basically a, a kind of like a hidden layer to the image and that's what's going to allow you to have a transparent background over the image or under the image. So hit alpha channel okay and now since we've already inverted this we can go to edit and hit clear and what it's going to do is everything that's selected which is everything that we don't want to keep is actually going to get cleared. You can also use delete to do this, but watch what happens. Boom. So now that checkered background, that is actually transparent. So we now have just the signature here that we want to use. And of course, if you were doing your own signature, I would suggest getting like a Sharpie marker so it's a little bit thicker. Uh, sign a piece of paper, a nice white piece of paper, take a photo of that or scan it, uh, get it on your computer, and then you can do this very thing. So we've now got our um, signature there looks good. Uh, we've got a nice solid signature. 
the key here is to save it in the right format. So the next thing that we want to do is when we go up to save, actually we're going to export because GIMP uh, doesn't save it like this, we're going to export it as a PNG file. So this is key, The um, what comes after the actual name of the file, okay? Um, that needs to be changed. And you can also do this by choosing other things, but we're just going to switch that to PNG. And the beauty of PNG is that it actually saves transparent backgrounds. So it'll know, oh, the background is transparent. If you try and do this with a JPEG file, it actually won't work. So we're going to save it as a PNG file. Uh, you generally don't have to change any of this. You can save background color if it's not there. I like to adjust my compression format, so I usually do one or two. Not that this is going to make a big difference actually for the file, uh, but I want to make sure that I've got a high resolution um, signature that I can insert into documents. So I'm going to go ahead and hit that and hit export, and it has now exported my John Hancock ha, 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 um, to a PNG file. Now, uh, by default, I'm running Linux, of course, this is Kubuntu. When I double click, this is the JPEG again. When I double click it, it opens in Gwenview and you can see it's got the white background with the JPEG. When I open the ping or the PNG file, now you'll see it's transparent. We have a transparent background. And then what we can do is we can take that PNG file and we can actually insert that into um, a PDF. So I'm going to go ahead and do that as the second part of this tutorial. I'll show you how to insert that into a PDF.